Seeing as you're Mr. Friendly, I'm going to ask you a question. I guess that sadly it's more of an opinion based thing, so you might not um, want to or be able to. Okay, depending on what it is. What do you think about the amount of police shit that are here, considering what really should be going on when it's. These are fairly peaceful. It seems like a fairly. This must be a fairly expensive operation, really. I would say it is as many as somebody who is paid more than me decides. Um, I don't, That's a very diplomatic answer. I'm, I'm, I'm not into the sort of planning of things. Obviously, I'm just a constable, um, so I don't get involved in resourcing planning operations or anything. Um, I just get told where to go and, and what to do. No. Um, so. I don't have an opinion on it because I don't do this a lot and I don't know the background of what's been happening with obviously recent protests and things. Are you normally walking walking beat or are you normally no, in a car? I'm a or? response officer, yeah, so I normally go to 999 calls. Oh, OK, so OK. I, I go and resource the needs of the city and find out what people want to talk to about and yeah. do that kind of thing, really. I'm just a response officer. I just got a list of questions in my head and then it went again. Oh, no. For God's <laughs> sake. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, it was oh my God. It's a bit distressing, to be honest. What, the animals? Yeah. It's been a long time. I'm, I'm a shit-in, normally, and it's been a long time since I've... If you don't look into this kind of thing, you're never going to see it. If you don't look into anything to do with vegetarianism or veganism, mm -hmm. you're never going to see it. And yeah. therefore, sure. because I've stopped looking, I slid back yeah. into just being vegetarian. Sure. And since seeing all this stuff as of only a month ago, mm -hmm. it's given me a kick up the arse to... Hang on a minute, what the hell have I been doing? I've not been paying attention at all. Yeah, sure. And seeing some of this last time was just like, I don't like this. Yeah. This does my head in. This is too much... And Chapman to... Oh, anyway, whatever. Whatever. So, should we have a difficult conversation? <laughs> Go for it. Uh, what is... I'm going to say opinion as well. Okay. What is your opinion on how the force is going to deal with the ridiculous amount of officers that have a ridiculous amount of complaints in at the moment? You know the Mets and special. Is a one, it, it is. Well, the Mets and special measures. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. have uh, on Monday there was that article. Of, I think we just talked about this, didn't we? Yes, we did. The yeah. thousand officers. Um, there is clearly something really bad going on in the force, and it's allowing quite a lot of horrible people to stay in there mm. and not be found. So are, we, are we talking about the Met, are we? We like specifically the Met, because obviously there are let's, let's, forces different. Aren't let's they? say mm. that this is a general problem throughout the force so country throughout, throughout right. policing in general yeah because if it's happening in the Met what really is the different policing and the different uh, rules that are happening down there so that are going to be different in different areas so I would say with obviously the stat is like what a thousand or something that's like one percent of all police officers I think isn't it because there's like what, but obviously thousand, they're the only ones that we know about no, that's the slow down slow down slow down thank you um, that yeah, becomes a problem. Oh, oh, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, the ones we know about. But and it was 1,500 in the Met, and it was 1,000 around the rest of the country. So 1,500 in the Met. So we're on 2,500 now. So that's, even still, though, out of, what, 100,000 police officers? That's I probably am... about what you'd find in any job of people who were up to no good, I would guess. <laughs> obviously, the difference know. is... This is obviously just a, a conversation we're having. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but... I would say that's probably about right when you take into account how many there are. So you probably find similar results in the NHS, in teaching, probably any profession. There's probably about 1% to 2% of people that are up to no good or in it for the wrong reason. It's just that in policing the harm is substantially more, obviously. Um, that's, although, where I, well, that's where I was getting to. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I, I think anyone who isn't right for the job should be rooted out and found. Because... I, I, I think I can speak for all of the colleagues I personally know. We all do this to keep people safe. That's why we're response officers. We're here to go to calls that people make when they need our help. Um, and we find the kind of people that are being rooted out absolutely abhorrent. Yeah. People like Wayne Cousins, like David Carrick, those kinds of people. 20 should years. not be in the job. 20 years. I can't comment on what the justice system does, unfortunately. It's insane. I, I, no, no, I, I mean that he got away with it for 20 oh, years. Oh, I know. Absolutely horrific. And I think the investigation into the Met is probably a good thing. Yeah. Um, as a personal opinion, that's not the opinion of the force, obviously. But I think finding out corrupt 
this obviously is connected. Now, obviously, that is a fantastic answer. That's obviously a textbook yeah. answer. <laughs> so, I truly believe it, though. I, I, you know, at the end of the day, as a, as we're all members of the public, aren't we? Any right member of the public should want an open and transparent police force yeah, yeah, yeah. that represents its community yeah. and that is not staffed by people who would do anyone harm. Now, what station are you stationed at? Nothing Street. So, have you seen the video of the man that is now famous on the internet? I have not. I don't watch um, sort of any videos about police. Okay, because so because I do it as a job. If we back up to what you've just said about rooting out the rotters, mm -hmm. how are you able to do that if you don't watch any uncut videos of an assault happened in your station? Because it's not my job to do that. It's we but have it's a your job. Standards for a reason. Obviously, any complaints okay. that members of the public deal with go to the standards department, and they are the one. It's their specific job to root out. So if we take into account. The amount of officers that uh, there seems to be a problem, um, and clearly pros pro professional standards isn't able to keep up, otherwise there wouldn't be the huge problem that we have. Sure. Uh, we are left with, uh, we need officers to police each other. Oh, absolutely, and I think any officer who witnesses a type of conduct would report it. So why not watch a fellow... Uh, so the conversation I've had over there is that when I've asked this question, it's turned into, well, I can't watch. If I watch every single incident with every single officer, then I'm just going to end up doing that and not my job. But if there's an officer at your station... Exactly. And if we're talking 2,500. But if there's an officer at your station that you maybe work with and an assault has happened on your station grounds, surely that is incumbent upon you to watch that video and find out as much about that as you can to inform yourself about whether you need to be policing that fellow officer. Whether you need uh, to watch out I, for any hints I, of him I, being I, a dodgy I man. I, know the officer, I, I think I know the instant you're talking to. Yes. Um, I don't work with him. Okay. I'm, I think on, a, I'm on a different shift. Okay, that's, that's, that's still getting towards <laughs> um, excuses <laughs> rather than rather than I, 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 I should watch the video. I believe that any officer who witnesses a proper conduct would report it. There was another officer there and he did nothing. Okay, so obviously that officer has judged the conduct to be proper. The woman was pushed into the road and she hit her head in the road. Okay, so she's, she's still about here kind of thing. Okay, that kind so of thing. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about that investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely We're talking about um, Alan. Okay. It, that's ongoing, isn't it? It is, so I know you can't speak about that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to comment on that's it. That's understandable. it could prejudice from the complainant side yes. as well as the police side. But, the point I'm getting, the, I guess the point I'm getting at is, mm -hmm. um, the officers I spoke to over there, they knew Alan, they know Alan and they know the situation. Okay. And they were saying the same thing, that we won't look at what happens with other officers on social media, mm. because we don't want to be biased, we don't want to get bogged down. Yeah. But, you all know the situation with Alan and what's happened. You all know that the investigation is ongoing. I so know, therefore, yeah. you have all essentially been told by social media one side of the story. And when I ask you about whether you go and look at the video, you're all saying, no, we don't want to be biased, when you already have been biased by understanding what's happened, by being told only one side of the story. On my side, it's more because I don't look at any evidence of any investigation I'm not involved in. But you can't avoid knowing about what you, you you can't avoid knowing about that situation so no, even so, if, so even so, if you don't look into it you're so, already getting one side of it so and that's biased it's more i know there's an investigation yeah and that's all i want to know i don't want to look into either side because okay. i don't want to form an opinion of it okay. because it's an ongoing investigation once it's over yeah and it's all said and done yeah i would look into it okay because then it would be an acceptable thing to look at but I don't look at any live investigations that aren't my own investigations. So once it's over, mm -hmm. and if I see you back here, mm -hmm. we're going over this again. <laughs> <That's absolutely fine. laughs> Brilliant, thank yeah. you. I but appreciate once, that. Once it's over and it, it, it can be commented on, then yeah. sure. That'd be good. Yeah, That'd be good. Make a comment on the well, are you, would you be allowed to comment on it once it's over? Why not? As a, as a person, yeah, not representing the force. Um, if you were at work and I was asking you about it, would you be allowed to comment, do you think? It wouldn't be a good use of my time, but I suppose so. Well, I mean, <laughs> this is what I've been told. Um, <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like we're yeah, doing much, is like, it? Like I said, when I'm not here, I'm yeah, yeah. in a car going to people's yeah, yeah, yeah. conference. So, you know, if, if I was not here and able to talk to people, yeah. then it wouldn't be a good use of my time. But if I'm here, then yeah, I'll watch video. And, so I'm going back to Bethel Street later today. Okay. Um, because, yeah, there was another officer there watching it happen, and they did nothing. They didn't stop Alan, but they didn't step in to help uh, 
okay. him or help anyone else. Right. And Bob, if, I'm sure you know Bob, behind the counter Bob. Oh, yes. Bob was there, Bob did nothing. Okay. Uh, she was walked past Bob, Bob did nothing. Now Bob last week was telling me that if I came in with uh, an officer who had arrested me for my weed, mm -hmm. And I had my prescription on me, mm -hmm. and I showed Bob the prescription, and he was saying, well, if you were brought in, yeah. being arrested for weed, uh, the first thing I'd do is tell that officer to walk straight back out again because they don't have holding cells here. Now, Gemma was taken... Oh, no, you can't comment. Gemma was taken out the back, yeah. handcuffed, and just left out the back with Alan. Okay. Walked straight past Bob. Bob didn't say, we've got no holding cells here, you shouldn't be bringing her in here. Okay. So I need to ask him a follow-up question about... How come he would say that with me, but he didn't say it at the time sure. when it was necessary? And it's all, you know, we can all hypothetically say <laughs> what we do with the best will in the world and being the best person we could possibly be, sure. but it's the action at the times that really matter, oh, isn't it? Well, I just think louder the words. Absolutely, absolutely. This guy's impressed me today, I like him. I've got a comment for, for, for today's police. Uh, you know, <laughs> you can only go the man over there with the tit on his head. <laughs> Um, uh, it's the hat, it's the hat. It's sorry, the hat no, 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 <laughs> it's because the autism and everything else, right? Because I forget the word, <laughs> it becomes the closest phrase. They all need to have hats, don't they? Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. <laughs> In the force, are they named that? That's been a policing term for everyone. Really? In that case, I'm going to say it freely. <laughs> Hey! Oh, okay, okay. I've got it. I've got you on record saying that. I mean, um, so sad, isn't it? I was asking today. I was asking him early this morning about policing and what was going to happen with the policing today, and what was the uh, operational uh, outlook for today and stuff like that. Um, he literally turned his back and walked away from me mid conversation. Okay. Uh, he, I started asking about the operational stuff. Yeah. He asked me a couple of questions about me personally, and I was like, mate, no, sorry, I, I don't want to speak about me personally. I don't want to speak about. I can't remember what it was, but it was, you know, what did you have for dinner last night, or where have you come from? Anything, yeah. anything random and chatty. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, no, I want to know about. I want to speak to you about your job today, your job role, mm -hmm. and what the operation is today. Mm -hmm. And then turned around, walked away from me, okay. and then continued to tell me that I had been incredibly rude, and that's why he walked away. Okay. That is a problem. That is not someone who should be... That's why I'm so impressed with you today. Your interaction has been exemplary, yes. And you're in, you're, what I'm here to do. Exactly. And you're in, your interaction has been exemplary, and you've been asking questions about what's happening today. And as a member of the public, I don't... This is going to sound wanky. As uh, Rights Defender just pointed out, um, there is this thing of, we pay our wages thing, but there is kind of, you know, we all pay taxes for a public service. You pay taxes on yeah, those taxes you, and all I, that kind of stuff as well. the same amount of taxes Exactly. Else. But well, there is an element of, if then, a member of the public is going up to an officer and saying, what can I expect from you today? What kind of interaction can I expect from you today? Mm -hmm. If this happens, that happens, what will we be looking at happening? Yeah. For that officer don't just turn around and walk away mid-conversation. It's just... I kind of appalled for this to be yeah, only sure. my second interaction yeah, with sure. the police at large. Yeah. All I'm seeing is, yeah, yeah the media's well, right, he shouldn't be in the force. Yeah, no, and absolutely. At the end of the day, if, if you feel that you've, you've had some kind of incivility from an officer, there are routes you can take. You can obviously file a complaint. Sergeants are here, inspectors here. You know, you, you can just call to a senior officer. And, and I have noticed today. from the. Sorry, I started talking over there. I do apologize. It's absolutely fine. Um, yeah. I've noticed with watching uh, police videos. Yeah. But there's a, a there's a constant argument thing that seems to go on of picking individual words and arguing those words uh, instead of the point of what's being said. And I have a problem with choosing the right words, so I have to rely on the fact that I'm maybe getting the point across. Yeah. Like me just bringing up the Catholic Church, you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's immediately a, well, we're not going to talk about that, are we? It's like, no, 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 I'm trying to explain to you. Uh, I, I, I understood your point. Yeah, yeah. Um, I understood what you were trying to make. So, I thought you made it well, actually. Oh, and I forgot. I've, again, I've just lost my choice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. But yeah, I found that interaction very, very difficult and yeah. uh, putting a complaint in. Yes, I'm going to have to put a complaint in, basically. Absolutely, and, and at the end of the day, you, you are always, as a member of the public, you're always free to do it. That's, That's what I was going to say. That should be the point, is that anyone should feel comfortable to complain about a police officer. He was twisting direction. everything I was saying. I've got, a, I've got a whole interaction on camera. Yeah, absolutely. And when I was asking him, like, what are you doing? Why are you accusing me of being rude when you've just walked away from me? Mm -hmm. 
And I've got him on camera now, just lying yeah. all the way through the following follow-up interaction, saying that I'd been rude. Yeah. That's why he walked away. I don't. He shouldn't be dealing with the public if that's the attitude. Do you guys ever get retrained? I'm gonna in, in let me rephrase that and start no, again. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah. How long have you been in the job, may I ask? Uh, just not long over a year. Are you aware of uh, mandatory retraining that happens after so many years of work or something like that? So we get we get uh, what they call like team development day kind of things. Um, so every ten weeks we get a day of training, which can be in sort of all kinds of topics. Um, and it, it's, it's like a sort of continual professional development kind of training set. Um, so yeah, we, we we do get retraining a topic, so we get sort of updates on when legislation changes and that kind of thing yeah. so but it, it's on the onus is also on us to keep ourselves informed yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know ensure that our knowledge is up, up, up to scratch when we deal with things um, does yeah. that not become a little bit difficult when we talk, when we start thinking about what we were talking about earlier about so not watching social media videos and yeah, stuff so no because we, we let yeah, me rephrase we, that sorry social, yeah. let's review social media let's say unedited documentary footage hmm. instead of social media because then we remove the aspect of it being Mm-hmm. Wank shit and shortens. So, I mean, okay. so, what, what is the question, though? So, uh, how about do you have. Ha- That's a good question. What is what the I don't understand is where, where's the link with the Yeah, yeah, where are we going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yes, we do get sort of training and we get continuous training. Yeah, yeah. So with keeping yourself informed of what's going on, yeah, yeah, that's, that's so, it. I sorry, like, I like yeah, what you said. Yeah. yeah, what I meant is keep ourselves informed of any like legal changes, okay. not, not going on in the wider. Oh, okay, because that, okay. would, that wouldn't be possible. Yeah, you know, there's so much uh, law enforcement interaction footage out yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. edited, unedited. Yeah, that we, the, the, the police, so yeah. that, way, that the police have put out there, that orders have put out there, that things that suspects. You know, people are always making footage. Yeah. The amount out there. It would not be feasible or in my interest to watch it all. Yes. Yeah. I don't have that much time. Off. Yeah, no, I understand <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if I'm honest, the last thing I want to do when I go home after I finish work is yeah, think yeah, about yeah. policing. Yeah. Um, I like to keep it. If you were a yeah. teacher, you'd be screwed. You'd be going home having to, having to think about yeah. And it yeah. seems to me yeah, that if teachers, if really teachers are expected to do that, why so the, with people with powers so that can use them on us so why I've, are they not expected yeah, to work at sorry, home yeah so I've got, I've got a friend who is a teacher and they said actually the expectation isn't that they take work home it's just that they have so much they yeah. have to um, and so, 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 so they're taking it on stay, well we frequently have to stay late because obviously we can't take our work home yeah yeah um, that would be a colossal breach of yeah. you know, GDPR and data protection mm-hmm. and whatnot. but I frequently just stay on late to get my work done mm-hmm. and, and you know keep up to date with things but that's so that's on individual officers to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I can't claim to know every word of every power of every bit of legislation in the world. You seem, you seem like you might be the kind so of person much. that would go away and find out, though, if uh, someone, oh, if something happened. Yeah, I know, absolutely. It, it, and, and you know, your response to the weed thing was, uh, well, oh, this, yeah, this I, is a man that really... I find it really interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I, and like I said, I've never come across somebody who's... I, I was aware that prescriptions in the UK had now yeah. sort of come into effect. Um, very surprised the Tories were supposedly that's, responsible. I've said that a couple of times here today already, yeah. I was very shocked with that. Um, it's Tory weed. That's what I've been calling it, Tory weed. <laughs> Tory weed. Does My it legal little, Tory like, weed is coming. It's a little sticker on there. <laughs> <laughs> it, does come, it does come in a prescription so uh, bag. It is, comes yeah, sealed. So is, is it a bag? Is it it's in, a in pa- normal like, prescription paper yeah. bag. It's sealed in a plastic tub, yeah. uh, oh, okay. the normal pharmaceutical plastic yeah, tub. Uh, you won't, it's got a child lock on yeah, it, yeah. and it's got a proper seal that you need to open oh, inside as well. Yeah. So I've never met somebody who's, I, like I said, I was aware it had been prescribed, but I'd never met somebody who'd had it prescribed. So when I took Bob through it all, really it was, yeah, yeah, getting it all out. And yeah, thing. yeah. I put my camera down like that, though, while I was <laughs> doing it, so I can't put the footage on right. Could you hear it? Yeah. So or I was thinking to make it, the audio's all right. I was maybe yeah. going to do some B-roll, but it's still... I've just got to shoot myself opening some weed at home now. It's not quite. <laughs> it's not as fun as opening it on the counter Absolutely. in a police station. Yeah. I can imagine that must be one. It was fantastic. Around. Yeah, that must feel good. So, oh, he's uh, he crushes cans before he throws them oh, away. Absolutely. Yeah, good for a Love that. Um, are you? Have we talked about Gemma Barnes yet? 
No, I don't think we have. Are you aware of Gemma Barnes? Yeah, I've no, heard her name, yes. Yeah. Are you aware of... There seems to be an ongoing persecution of Gemma going on okay. by Norfolk Constabulary. Okay. I say... So, you know, you know that I know. I know. And I haven't asked you a question either, no. so... Uh, I, I will preempt it and say I can't comment on any live investigations. I've never met Gemma myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I am aware that there are complaints from her about the force and from the force about her. Mm-hmm. That's all I can really say because I don't know a lot about her. Mm-hmm. I'm not involved in any investigations. I've never met her myself. I can't really. I, I don't form opinions on things I don't know about. Yeah. Um, that's always been my stance in life because otherwise I find one comes across as foolish mm-hmm. when challenged on opinions. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you don't fully form an opinion because you don't know about the subject, you will come across something foolish when asked about it. Yeah. So I've always gone through my, my short life saying, if I don't know enough about something, I won't form an opinion on mm-hmm. it. That's all I can really say about the, mm-hmm. the, the, the general situation. Obviously, um, what, what's happening is, is ongoing, and I hope that, that, that a resolution can be found. So do I. Because obviously, uh, the, the 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 officers that might be involved in, say, the arrests and all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. they're going to go home thinking they've done a good job. Gemma's at home knowing that there might be someone kicking the door in at any moment. Um, do you know what I mean? It's kind of... You may as well, you, you're suffering PTSD at that point of having a home invasion mm-hmm. by a bunch of thugs for things that you know aren't important enough or you haven't done yeah, at I, all. I, I, I can understand that would be... And the Section 5 offences are kind of quite ridiculous that that is being thrown at. Se- section 5 or... Like, Sorry, the, the, the swe- or swearing stuff oh, and all that kind of stuff being thrown around. So the police's complaints towards Gemma seem to be basically uh, based around that kind of thing, whereas I've seen the video of Owen throwing her in the road, I've seen a video of her being hit by a car, and the an officer coming over and just dragging her out the street, throwing her to the ground on the pavement, she's all unedited, getting his cuffs out, ready to arrest she's been hit by a car and he's getting ready to arrest her and she's just been bundled in like a body bag a couple of weeks ago out of court where they've handcuffed her behind her back put her in on a stretcher face down so she's breathing problems yeah. and there's like 11 officers around her carrying her into a van and as far as I'm aware that's for one of the public order offences it's okay. like she may as well have been a terrorist killing hundreds of people for the reaction that they've got. The interaction yeah. over there was just insane. And thankfully, yeah. there was these auditors here mm-hmm. and another one, and Jamie was here, I can't see right now, and they put themselves at risk of arrest by getting in front of the officer. Um, I'll do it that way. Putting their hands in yeah. and saying, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Um, that's bonkers. That's the kind of thing where there were no other officers getting involved. Loads of other officers came over and tried to excuse the guy. Yeah. The guy wanted to go over and talk to Gemma about it. Gemma's on the ground yeah. just having a fit, a mess. Because obviously she's like, what is going on? What yeah. are you all doing criminalising me to be hit by a car? And obviously, again, I know you can't comment, but that's why I've come down. Yeah. It's those kind of things that have just driven me insane watching that. Yeah. And watching okay. the lack of interaction from other officers not policing themselves yeah. and then going back to what we've been talking about with the news and all that kind of stuff uh, yeah, and, and with, well, as far as I can find it so you, you, uh, you should be free to be allowed to do that it's, just, it's a shame that it feels like a necessary thing yeah well um, unfortunately in, in today's world the camera is king isn't it yeah, yeah no, that's why we're all equipped with these yeah. um, you know it's, it's, it's as much to protect what's the first thing you do when you turn it on Somebody that it's going <laughs> um, I, haven't, I haven't felt the need to turn mine on. See, so. I have to do that because auditors might watch my videos. Yeah. Well, they'll, um, they'll want them to say things like that. I, I would say, though, it's only a false policy. It's yeah. a legal requirement. Yeah. Um, what's the difference between... Hang on, so what? So, false policy is things that we could be told off or but couldn't be taken to, like, a court. So but, it, but, if it's, but if it's, it's false... But what, but I mean, what's the difference in... Mm. If it's false policy is, it, policy, is it still something that you always definitely should be doing? We're practical. Where practicable, yeah. yeah. So obviously, if so, hypothetical, uh, Prince of Wales Road, Friday night. I tried to ask you about policing earlier. You wouldn't, you wouldn't engage in any hypotheticals at all. I need to talk to people, and I'm especially hypothetical because it's not real. Um, hypothetically, situation: Prince of Wales Road. Friday We're going out for a drink tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Friday night, Prince of Wales Road. All of a sudden, big fight. Yeah, it happens a lot. I would not turn my camera on and go stop, 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 stop. Just let you know people in my camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's not yeah, practical. Yeah, yeah. Um, but after the fact, when everybody's calmed down, 
I would say just here where they you know, I like calling people mate I like the friendly approach um, I think it de-escalates people and it's gentle neutral um, I would say that just your awareness my camera's been recording that, that's it, it, it you, all you need to do is give a verbal you know yeah. I am recording this interaction on my body wall video that, that's all that is, it's just required you inform somebody I've had two interactions down here where the officers have said Oh, well, we declared to the protesters over there that we would be filming today, so okay. that was enough. But you don't and know I, like you were told personally. I wasn't told at all okay. when they started the camera, and I, didn't, I wasn't there at the time when they told them, so yeah. obviously more protesters come down. Yeah. So it's kind of having to make the point of, no, you need to declare to individuals because they haven't necessarily heard you say that, and I need to know that you're collecting GDPR data on me. Sure. Um, there seems to be... What, what, do, do you have an opinion about your own training and how good you think it was? <laughs> no, no comment. Um, no, I, I'm perfectly happy with my training as, as far as... You don't think it's lacking in certain ways? You don't think they don't give you enough information or there are certain things to do with interactions with the public that they're not maybe I, up I, on enough? I think if you were to try and train a police officer in every aspect of their job, they'd be going to law school. We've, got, we've gone from one thing to everything there, though. But policing is such a, a wide and varied thing. It, it's so many grey areas and so yeah. many sort of this and that and this and that. So I don't think it's possible really to, yeah. to fully train for everything. Um, we, we get training. Oh, but but training for. Do you get much training for. Uh, well, so do you get much training for de escalation? Because de escalation doesn't seem to be happening a huge amount. Yeah, amounts. absolutely. You do um, get a lot of de escalation training. Yeah. I, I, I felt we did, yeah. He definitely needs retraining for de-escalation. Yeah. Sure. So, obviously, incivility and de-escalation. I'm going to point at him for a bit longer. Makes, it, makes him think I'm talking about... Free to point. You can film. Oh, I think that was... <laughs> You'll have just seen you do that. You realise that. You're free to point people. Do you know um, him? Is he a friend of yours? No, I've never met him in my life. Oh, OK, um, OK. I, I think the thing with de-escalation is you can't... You can't really teach de-escalation okay. because it's got to be a, a personal thing. You have to want to do it, be brave enough to try and do it. Yeah, de-escalation, I think, is always a braver option. Right, okay. well, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. I, th I think it's harder to have somebody in your face screaming at you and try and bring the situation down than it yeah. is to escalate. Yeah. Um, I'll always, I'd, I'd much prefer de-escalation myself. I, I take pride on the fact that... I'd rather de-escalate than push someone into the road. Well, I wouldn't push somebody into the road. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's I was being cheeky there. there. No, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd try not to push somebody into the road if I could help it. <laughs> that's all. Um, but that, that's me. Um, it's called standard human decency. Well, it's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. It's a wide road. There's you know, a corner as well. There's a corner where yeah. you've got cars coming out of your... your, your whatever, at Bethel Street. Oh, outside There's the... There's a drive going the, up, isn't there? Yeah. 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 So uh, every time you watch auditors and they're around a drive like that, the police are like, watch it, we might need to go out on, a, on a, an immediate thing and cars are going to come speeding round. And she was pushed into the road pretty much directly on that corner. Yeah, well, yeah, so it did, uh, did do well. Oh, are we having a huddle? Oh, I don't know. Are we having a huddle? I'm not going to it. Obviously you're, you're free to go there. You're, you're too nice. They don't want you anymore. <laughs> you're doing your job properly. You're not normal to be here. I'm just talking to people. So <laughs> what's, what's your name, by the way? What's your first name? Connor. Connor, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.